right, everybody, welcome back after a little bit of a break here to the Ball Talk Barflies Breakdown. Here again with Coach Pete. How you doing, Coach? Really great. Kevin, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, just dealing with a little bit of rainy, nasty weather here, which I understand is kind of where you guys are right now, too. All right, we're you know, across the globe, I guess, right? But the good thing is, though, Baseball is about to start back up again, we hope, right? So just before we dive into anything else, what's the weather report look like for this weekend? And what are our chances of getting that game in? Yeah, so we're at home, Bochum. Uh, we have a forecast of scattered showers, thunderstorms uh, throughout the day, 60% chance of rain, but it's going to be warm. So we're going to have to be struggling with that humidity, the, uh, the uh, water coming up off the field, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to play through and the storms will kind of uh, be sparingly to us. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Well, I mean, so lately though, with training, I guess you've probably had to deal with some of that same weather as we're here in the dog days of August now. Uh, I guess that helps you prepare to play in some of that kind of heat and humidity, huh? Yeah, and you know, our, our catcher is actually looking forward to it. He has such dry hands. He's saying that he loves it when he has a wet ball and uh, he's able to throw it really good. And, you know, but yeah, we were able to practice this week all uh, yesterday in the rain and uh, work on those standard routine plays, you know, and get used to the ball. Anything else special has been going on in training? Anything else that you're focusing on? Uh, no, just uh, pretty much the same thing that we've been focusing on since uh, those games at Ennepetal, the communication uh, between the outfield and the infield, uh, looking at um, the base running and being, you know, being aggressive on, on our base running and, uh, yeah, looking at those uh, more on those uh, um, base coaching and things like that. So yeah, more of the same, really focused. Well, that's good. Well, speaking of Ennepetal, uh, I know you guys played them recently. And just this past week, I understand you had a chance to go out and check out your next opponent against them. So uh, tell us a little bit about that and what you saw and, and how you're kind of incorporating that without giving too much away. OK, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, Rhina, we're, we're up against Rhina, the Rhina Mavericks on Sunday, and they were hosting the Raccoons last weekend. And um, so my coach, uh, assistant coach and I made the trip up an hour and a half up to, uh, to Rhina to take a look at them, see what's going on. Um, no, we've faced Rhina in the past, so we had a pretty good feeling already uh, for you know, their, their abilities, their skills, and their pitchers. But um, really, with two years difference now, we haven't seen them in two years because of the lockdowns last year. And we want to just kind of reconfirm our, our take on them and make sure if there were any new players that we weren't aware of, kind of get a scouting report on that. That's good. So do we think that... Are you, are you looking to come out more aggressive or a little more patient this week on the offensive side of the ball? Yeah, uh, we're, we're confident um, in, in, our, in our batting. You know, we saw when we faced Paderborn at the beginning of the year, you know, that, that was kind of our benchmark for the, for the league, uh, for the level of our league play. And you know, seeing who we're up against, uh, you know, there's, there's some good pitchers that they have um, in terms of getting ball placement uh, and a mix up between the, the breaking balls and the fastballs. And, you know, they do have um, a f one foreigner on their team who can go through three innings and has a nice fastball there too. So uh, we're confident though, uh, that we'll be able to get onto the bases. And uh, once we get on the bases, you know, that's, uh, it's a whole new ball game, uh, something that we struggled on against end of it all. So um, and that we've been practicing uh, as well. So we're, okay. we're getting confident yeah. on the offensive side uh, coming into the game. Well, let's switch to the other side of the ball then. We're going to talk a little bit on that defensive side. When you guys are out there, uh, I understand that there is some pitching changes in the offing. And can you, can you talk to us a little bit about that and, uh, and maybe what's happening there and some of the reasons behind that? Yeah, so unfortunately, we're losing Fabian as uh, a pitcher. Uh, he's struggling with some of his uh, with his elbow and a little bit of shoulder, and so we're taking the proactive approach to uh, keep him off of the mound for the rest of the season, uh, just to make sure that uh, everything's okay. We don't want to uh, uh, tweak that any more than it has to be. So we're going to be taking him off the mound out of the starting rotation. 
Um, but uh, we're fortunate enough to have a lot of depth, actually, a lot of people that have been looking at that position the past few years. Um, so it looks like going into Sunday that we're going to be bringing in Kevin, uh, who's been focusing on that the past few weeks to uh, start on the mountain and see where it goes from there. Ah, outstanding. Kind of a bull, bullpen game sort of mindset. Everybody grabs up an inning and, and sees what happens. Yeah, that, uh, that's kind of the approach where we're starting off uh, to, you know, get that, uh, get the uh, butterflies out of your stomach, so to say. So rather than bringing Kevin in with uh, people on bases and the score already round up, uh, we're going to start off on defense uh, with the home game. So give him a chance to just come out, do the uh, standard warm up, uh, be prepared heading into the start of the game. Um, and that way, there's no pressure uh, with uh, with the counts, with the bases, uh, and uh, with the score. So. All right, it sounds like a good plan. I'm excited. I'm excited for some more baseball to to finally be played here, and would give us give us a lot more to talk about. And a <laughs> five week up. hiatus, you know, in the middle yeah, of that's, summer. That. That's a, a long long time, but it'll be good to get back to baseball. So. Pushing forward a little bit, since we've kind of covered all the baseball stuff, um, mm -hmm. I know over here in the United States, we've kind of had uh, had to deal with a, a ramp up with the uh, with the coronavirus pandemic that's been going on. Uh, this this Delta variant is is causing some some problems, and uh, I'm I have to admit that I'm a, a little bit ignorant to what's been going on uh, around the world as far as that goes. It's been a little bit to inward facing for me, I'll admit that. So maybe can you talk about how, what's going on with that currently is, is affecting your team and your preparations going forward and what you can kind of expect for the rest of the season? Mm -hmm. Sure, so we're, we're kind of seeing that spike again, uh, kind of like we did last summer where people would be coming back from their vacations. So the summer vacation, summer holidays have, Kind of finished up, um, so we kind of see that that wave uh, coming in now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the different indexes that they have, uh, Bochum has now come up into, uh, I believe it's level two is what they're they're talking about, um, an index of higher than thirty five. So that puts us into a category where we need to uh, start looking at tests uh, as well, and we can only have so many people on the field um, that haven't been vaccinated and haven't been uh, recovered. So um, the league came out with a rule. Um, uh, a couple of weeks ago for, for this scenario. Um, so in this scenario, you can only have 25 people on the field at one time that, is, that aren't vaccinated. Uh, and so the rule there is that per team, you're allowed a maximum of 11 people in the game or in on your lineup card for, for that game. So uh, we should be okay. Um, we have plenty of people, plenty of our players are vaccinated already. So uh, we shouldn't see a problem with that. Um, but again, it, it's one of those things we now need to add in all of that administrative overhead of tracking and uh, as well as for the um, spectators. Yeah, it, un unfortunately, with dealing with this and everything that's changed so much, it's like trying to hit a major league curveball. You just you just never know if you're going to make contact or not. Yeah, we're we're hoping that we can still finish out the season uh, with any out without any impacts to the games. Uh, is only. Uh, was it eight games this season anyways uh, to start off with. So uh, losing any more games would be uh, would be kind of a negative for the season. So we're looking at uh, about five games left in the season then? Yeah, we guys. got, we got Rhina, uh twice against Rhina, twice against Minden, and one more game at home against Paderborn. All right. Well, your fingers crossed that we get all those games in and everybody stays healthy and, and we can just cruise through and enjoy some baseball before we get into uh, into that fall season. Yeah, it's going to be uh, week after week here coming up uh, with the exception next week and when we have uh, so a week from Saturday where we have our uh, outing baseball. Oh, yes. I can't wait to hear all about that. Yeah, I, I think that's going to be an absolute blast. And I'm, I'm really happy that you guys are going to get it out and get a chance to do something that's not baseball related together. Exactly. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, this kind of a, a, a short talk today. Not too, too much is, has changed. And I'm looking forward to next week when we break down the game and, and see what happens. Any final thoughts there, Pete? 
No, uh, we're we're looking forward to it, and you know we're we're looking forward to really proving ourselves again, uh, coming off those back-to-back -back losses against the Natal. So we're really looking forward to Sunday, and uh, we're very positive heading into it uh, based on all of the training that we've had in the past uh, few weeks. Well, great! It's been awesome to talk to you today about this, and uh, finally this weekend we get to hear play ball again. Awesome! Great, thank all you. right, we'll talk to you next time. Have a good one.